What's up, everyone? This is Jenny Rose. Welcome to my channel. I have a quick commentary on Melody Cherie and some other members of the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast. Uh, you guys, it looks like it is going down, and I'm going to tell you all about it. But before I do, please hit the like, subscribe, and your notification bell. That will help others find this video. And as always, I appreciate every single one of you guys for rocking with me. Now let's get started. So if y'all missed my last commentary, I did a live last night. It was all about Carlos King and his host, Dustin Ross. They actually reviewed the uh, part one reunion. Uh, and I thought it was pretty interesting. We had a lot of really good comments, a really good panel, people coming up and having their thoughts. Please check it out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You will not be disappointed, okay? Uh, now let's get to what Mel has going on today. She said, you guys, she posted this on her IG stories and she said, join me live today on IG at 5 p.m. I'm going to let five YouTubers come in for three questions each only. Ring the alarm, okay? Tell everybody it is going down today. If you guys remember, I believe it was early August, uh, Melody and Martel had a back and forth on IG Live, or excuse me, just their IG. So they were posting things to their IG stories. Uh, and I think it went on for about two days for Martel because he ended up posting some, you know, really negative stuff uh, that included his daughter. But you guys remember that Martel accused Melody of um, infidelities while they were married. And Melody said that never happened. You and I were split up. And if you want to go there, I have proof about all the garbage that you brought into my life, okay, that you were doing, that people have come to me and said, you know, in the aftermath of us breaking up, um, I have proof of that. And I'm going to hold a blogger event to shut all this thing down. Um, so she was supposed to hold a bl bloggers event. She was going to select five. It looks like this is going to be um, that five blogger event. It looks like this is going to be it. So you guys, uh, if you tune in, we will see. I'm hoping that I could be uh, chosen, but if not, I'm still covering it. Okay. Uh, I will still cover it and talk to you guys all about it. So uh, let me know what y'all think about that. And if you will be joining her IG live today. Okay. Uh, now let's get to this next story, y'all. Um, here we go. Uh, I told you yesterday in my live that, you know, Mel and, or excuse me, Mel, Oops, oops, oops. You gotta eat them words. I told you that Martel and um, Sheree had rang in the new year, but when the clock struck midnight and I was on the live when it started, I heard the gunshots and everything, whatever they were doing in the house, they made a popping noise to let us know that the clock had struck midnight. Um, Martel and Sheree, if y'all watch my video, go ahead and go back to it. He hugged, did a side hug. Okay. That's the first thing. This is a new relationship. Martel was drunk off his tail. Okay. He was drunk, drunk. Um, he bends down toward her and she whispers something in his ear. He whispers something back because of course it's loud, uh, but there was no kissing. There was no intimacy. Uh, then Martel left and went into the kitchen to uh, talk to whomever for forever. Uh, he looked like he had been in there for a good 15 minutes, maybe. And him and Sheree really didn't cross paths again until she was, you know, saying something to him about her dog. So he was kind of picking at the dog, talking about uh, the dog is scary. And, you know, there's a bunch of people in the house. The dog is walking around because it's his house. And Martel was picking at the dog. Sheree tried to stop him like, hey, Martel, Martel. And then again, they go opposite ways. It was like no chemistry at all. But I mean, you know, maybe that's just where he is at this point in his life. Maybe he wants a relationship without all of the uh, chemistry that he complained he lacked. You know what I'm saying? Either way, they took these cute photos, her in this hot pink uh, bodysuit and him in this matching, I should say, at least it compliments, um, overcoat. She looks really great in it. And uh, then we got some more cast photos, okay, of her in the outfit because they all did a dinner together. So it looks like Martel is going to show up in another episode of um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then we got a, a larger photo, but we know we, we're missing Kenya. And we also know that Martel and Kenya don't get along. Martel is all the way in the back there. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that, all of that. Do y'all think that was just some additional footage uh, that they are going to be bringing to the show? 
of Martel and Sheree's um, relationship, okay? Um, and then of course, Melody had been in the comments yesterday, someone was accusing her of tearing down Tisha and Marceau's marriage or at least trying to. Um, Y'all remember that Tisha makes the comment that she found a naked photo in Martel's phone and literally everyone makes a picture. And she says that she found this photo literally after like being like super, like uh, there's absolutely no infidelity in my marriage whatsoever. How dare you? After doing all of that and falling out on the couch, Mar Marceau actually looks down and says, baby, don't do all that. Don't do all that. Get up. That was wild, right? And she popped right up too. Um, but you know, whatever. Uh, Carlos King gave a face like, Tisha, like you literally just said there's no problems. Five minutes ago, you brought out these Muppets. Now you're telling us that you found a naked picture. Um, Martel is covering his face with embarrassment for Tisha of all people, um, as embarrassing as he is. Kimmy shakes her head, throws her head down. We get um, Kiki, who's looking like, okay, go on to tell on yourself because you getting mad at everybody else for sharing a story, telling yourself, okay? But someone got into the comments after Mel made this face <laughs> saying, again, like everybody else, how stupid are you? There's something really sad about a black woman who is smirking and basically wishing for a black family to break up just because her man did all this stuff. She wants everybody else to be miserable like her. Mel is not a friend to anyone. Her and Stormy are into it now. Melody clapped back and said, let me be super clear. I'm not into it with anyone. I literally stay in my home most of the time and mind the business that pay me. The businesses that pay me. How are you going to say what you think is in my mind and what I'm wishing for in regards to breaking uh, to a family breaking up? If that was the case, I would have said something about the past affair. Note, she did not say alleged affair. She said, I would have said something about the past affair. Mind you, it happened when I didn't know either party. So it was old news. So I didn't mention it when it was revealed. The only reason cheating came up and keeps coming up is because it keeps being brought to and asked of me. I don't bring up the ish, but I ain't about to lie. So sorry. Someone else said, it honestly just seems like Mel doesn't want to be in this divorce. I got cheated on. I'm embarrassed boat by herself. Like, oh, you did the most when my husband was cheating on me. I'm finna let you know your husband is cheating on you. Uh, Mel responds, I don't bring up their ish. Okay. She said, they keep asking or bringing it up. And they do. <laughs> I'm just not about to lie. So how about y'all run over and tell them to stop asking me or bringing up the past? Uh, and I want to say that Melody is 100% right. Melody squashed the beef in season three. I'm going to keep repeating it. She actually, her and Tisha made a truce or they apologized to each other in season one after the reunion. Mel apologized to Tisha again after going through her own battles in season two where she came to Tisha. I think there was like a, it was toward the end of season two because it's always a two-parter in the reunion. We get a first half and the second half. So in the second half, Melody had went out with all the ladies and the shaman, if y'all remember the shaman, and they all sat out on the grass. They had blankets wrapped around them. Melody apologized to Tisha again, and Tisha told her no, she doesn't accept it. Then Tisha felt really proud of herself, went home and shared it with her husband, Marceau, and said, you'll never guess what she did and blah, blah, blah. And when she told him that Mel apologized, Marceau turned on Tisha and said, why would you do that? Why don't you let this go? She apologized to you and you wouldn't accept it. You keep creating, you keep dragging this entire thing out, Tisha. Cut it out. They are, you know, in a process of a divorce and they are hurting. If y'all remember that, let me know in the comment section because Mel did that. In third season, it looks like they made amends again. 
before we even got to the show because Mel invited Tisha to her home. They had the Taco Tuesday party um, and Tisha brought Melody a bottle of their signature wine. Um, and then everything was cool. Tisha and, Mel um, Mar excuse me, Tisha and Melody had no problems, but on the reunion stage, Tisha let it known, be known again that she has not forgiven Melody and that it is still a problem for her. So it is Tisha who keeps bringing it up. And they start season four with Tisha, um, y'all remember, bringing the funk with this photo, okay? With this picture of her in this team wife shirt. Her and her husband were playing games. They had the team wife shirt. Um, and nobody said anything about these two smirking when uh, Tisha says to Melody, we all knew. Martel was cheating and you, and you stayed with them. You stayed with them, even though we all knew he was cheating. And Mel said, so what? I'm not with them now. You're still with yours though. And then Tisha had to hit even lower by saying, well, you had a baby by him, which was really repugnant, to be honest. That was probably super gross. Um, again, if you've been around Melody and her children, that is something you would never want to say. You wouldn't want those words to linger out there. And they have been dirty and speaking over Melody's children ever since. So I'm just going to point that out to you guys. But y'all let me know what y'all think about all this in the in the um, comment section. Let me see if I have anything else for y'all to discuss. No, I think that's it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this in the comment section. Let me know if you will be attending the blogger event at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me know what y'all think about those um, new uh, publicity photos that Sheree and Martel has taken. It looks like they are filming some, you know, footage for her birthday and Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me know what y'all think about Tisha. Um, Tisha actually posted, did I show you guys that? Maybe I didn't show you that. Let me show you this too. Tisha posted this this morning to her IG stories, um, you know, basically thinking that she ate with those puppets. And I told you guys that the Scott brothers have been, you know, giving Tisha kudos, laughing hard, stumping the floor, slapping their back against the couch. One of the brothers got into the comment section and said that Tisha ate with those photos. Okay. But when Tisha ate with those puppets, when Tisha came out with those puppets, Melody may have laughed the hardest, okay? I just wanted to point that out. She takes things in stride and now she may be in a place where she's like, I'm tired of the lies. And she's been tired of the lies, to be honest. And so now she is ready to do the blogger event. You guys, let me know everything you think about this in the comment section, like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit your notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on both IG and Facebook. I go by Dinah Rose on all platforms and I will check you all on the next one.